Hey, it's your girl Nadia, Forever Farm Sister. Today I'm going to introduce you to the wonderful world of hydroponics. And we're going to start out by building our own simple deep water system. Um, and we're going to use a method called Cracky, which I'll explain a little bit later what that is, to actually grow some lettuce. Alright, you'll need the following supplies. You'll need a 10 gallon tote or storage box, whatever you prefer to call them. It cannot be clear. It has to be a um, opaque color. The reason being, if it's clear, sunlight will cause algae to grow in your system, which can um, actually take oxygen out of the water that your plants will need, and it will cause them to die. You also need a drill with a 2-inch circular saw, 2-inch net cups or pots, whatever you prefer to call them, an empty gallon jug. You'll either need to have seedlings already started or you can actually start them in this system once you set it up. And you'll also need fertilizer that's dissolvable in water. Um, for this project, I'm actually using Master Blend, which you can purchase offline. And I'll give you that link later. So I know a lot of you don't know what hydroponics is, so let me explain what hydroponics is and why I'm choosing to introduce this method. Hydroponics is a process of growing plants in water without the use of soil. Um, using this method, you can grow plants indoors. You can grow more plants in a smaller space. Plants will grow a lot faster because they're not um, having to extract the nutrients from the dirt. The nutrients are readily available in the water. Um, to use hydroponics, it's a, actually a better method than actual farming outdoors. Reason being, number one, you use less water. Uh, a lot of times in the hydroponic systems, the water that's put in there is recirculated and it's reused over and over again. And it's only lost through evaporation or what the plants actually use as far as um, food. When you plant plants outside, a lot of the water is wasted because it actually is absorbed into the dirt. And a lot of times the plants can't actually utilize that. Um, also, uh, forests and plains and things don't have to be destroyed to make for more farmlands. You can actually grow plants hydroponically in warehouses. You can also grow outdoors, but you don't have to actually put the plants in the ground. You can set up your systems outdoors and utilize the sunlight. Um, so then you're not even using energy either. You're actually just using nature. And another reason that I'm using hydroponics is because it's fun and interesting. And you will see once you actually set up your system how fun and interesting can it really be. There are numerous methods to grow hydroponically. Um, some examples are the NFT or nutrient film technique, deep water culture systems, ebb and flow, there's drip systems, aeroponics, and the use of Dutch or Beto buckets. For this video, we'll start out with the simplest method, which is um, utilizing deep water culture. And we're going to be using a method known as the cracky method. And what that is, is where um, you, you have no type of circulating system in your uh, hydroponic growing method. There's no air pumps. There's no circulating pumps. Um, the only power that you'll need is uh, the power that you'll use for the grow light if you decide to grow under a grow light. If you're in an environment where it's pretty warm outside, you can set this whole uh, system up outdoors and just utilize the sunlight and you won't actually use any power. Um, some things that grow great in these systems are, of course, lettuce and other leafy greens. This would not be a system that you would want to really grow a tomato or a pepper plant with because you need to oxygenate the roots for them to have um, better growth. Um, for this video, I'll be growing a lettuce called Black Seeded Simpson Lettuce. Black Seeded Simpson Lettuce. The reason I chose this lettuce is because it's a fast-growing plant. 
Usually you can harvest your lettuce within 45 days or less. It's very easy, which most lettuce is to grow. And it's very forgiving as far as um, nutrient levels and things like that. Usually lettuce grows under any type of conditions. And the hydroponic system, they seem to grow very well and very fast. Faster than they would even outdoors. Um, I started my seeds in the Oasis Horty Cubes, but I would recommend that you use rock wool or root plugs. Uh, I wasn't very impressed with these Oasis Cubes, and I'm just trying to use them up, which I'm probably going to throw most of them away, because I found that the roots didn't really penetrate through as fast as they would if I used rock wool or root plugs. Um, once you start growing things in hydroponics, you'll see what I'm talking about as far as roots actually coming out of the uh, grow media when you have something that's so compact like the horticube, cubes it's hard for the roots to actually break through and as a result it takes longer for the plant to grow because it's not being exposed to the water okay I think I've explained enough now let's get down to the heart of this video and that is actually building our own deep water culture system so let's get started.
office is done growing, I should have at least 24 um, heads of little lettuce. thin these out in a little few days. You can also put some um, lava rocks in here if you'd like. I'm not going to put any because it's lettuce and it doesn't really need any support. But I was growing a plant that actually required support. I would put the lava rocks in here. Or it's called hydrogen. Or you can use perlite. Or you can use river rocks, some people use marbles, any type of thing that will give support to the plant. And right now I'm growing them under a T5. 